Alright guys, double wide six, and uh, today what I'm doing is I'm ripping down some of this pallet wood I had, and right here I have some cherry, and I'm going to end up topping off this table, so we're going to go with the hardwood, uh, I'm just kind of playing around, um, I made my, my bench over here, and that's out of uh, hardwood flooring. Now I'm just trying to use some old pallets and uh, scrap hardwood I had laying around. So I got the cherry ripped down, it's in a little bit of rough shape, but that's alright because I'm going to belt sand this once this is done. And since I'm from Pennsylvania, I figured I would uh, do a Pennsylvania inlay on here. So I'm just kind of working out the size of the inlay. So I figured out I wanted to come in about 8 inches on each side and that should give me enough room for these little pieces because I'm going to have an inlay inside here of Pennsylvania. And I printed this thing off the internet, and when I measured it, it was 7 inches by 4 inches. And what I figured out is this distance down here from line to line was actually like 28 inches. So 7 goes into 28 four times so that means this four inches I could take times four and get 16 so I'm gonna need an area 16 by 28 so we went through and kind of roughed it out and I just sort of drew it the best I can by looking at that picture I printed off the internet and for those of you that are confused that's Pennsylvania I laid this thing out and I was able to cover the little state or map I drew. So I have enough material. It was a little bit tough with all the knots and cracks and splits. But uh, I worked it out the best I could. I had to put a couple seams in there. But I ran full length ones between the seams. So I think we'll start trimming this thing. So here's what I have going. I clamped up a straight edge here and now I'm just taking my boards. I nailed one on the table, some brads, lining these up how they go nice and tight and then I'm just sort of marking some points kind of from my map and just uh, connecting them together sort of the way it should look. So for this one it's going to look something like this and then we'll go cut that at the bandsaw well it took a little time but I got it roughed out and I guess you could say it looks like Pennsylvania that is, if you know what Pennsylvania looks like. I have two of these beams. This is white oak, and it's heavy duty. It was the bottom part of a pallet. So I'm going to rip this down and kind of run it around Pennsylvania. So that'll be the plan. Well, my white oak turned out to be a uh, poplar, and I wasn't going to use it, but the pieces were long enough to go across the table. I had some oak, but it wasn't quite long enough, and I would have to make thinner strips. But anyhow, I decided to go with this. You got some nail holes. You're going to find that with pallet wood. So here's how I'm doing this. I started out with the bottom piece here, and I just kind of notched it out 
uh, the seam is right here. So about half the piece starts there. And I figured out, I wanted to make sure I didn't have like a little piece on the end. So I figured out that. That's why I notched it about an inch here. And now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of picking up these pieces and I'm tracing them on top of the board. So I'll get those nice and tight. And then I'm leaving the ends long and then that way I can always push it in to tighten it up and adjust the end. So that's kind of how I'm doing this. I just got to take this now and trace it and then I'll cut out that profile just like this one that's done. So I probably have about two and a half hours in this thing but I got this outside frame done. These I didn't cut the length. I figured out I have enough wood. Just took those two poplar pallet beams. Um, so I'm pretty happy with everything. Somehow I screwed up the measurement, so I got to glue a strip on here. I got one up in the vise, and when that one's done, I'll do the other one. But so far, I'm happy with the results. But like anything good, it's just going to take some time. All right, guys, it's day two. I got things kind of laid out and all the wood cut the way I need it. And this table is actually a laminate surface. It's like a Formica. And I'm not going to chip it off. Um, I'm going to sand it and rough it up. And I'm using my, my belt sander. This, this belt sander I really like. It's probably a 1950s uh, craftsman. And it just does a great job. It has a great weight. And it's real strong and I actually got it free I bought a house and I found it in the basement on the workbench so I'm gonna set this thing up and this is a 36 grit paper we're just gonna rough up the surface so that we can use our uh, liquid nails I gotta make some new uh, sanding belts. Should make a video on that. Well that 36 grit really did a nice job. Just spraying some carb cleaner on there and I'm just trying to get out any fine dust. So what I'm doing is I'm using liquid nails and putting that on our board and I'm gonna tack this thing on here just using some one inch brads. So I started out the first couple layers and now you know I have everything straight and we're just applying a little bit of liquid nails. This is actually the bottom strip on the uh, well I guess on Pennsylvania. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm using a combination of liquid nails and wood glue and I went through and labeled all these pieces so I know what's what. Right where I want them. Hammer them down a little, flatten out the glue. And then uh, I've been using the clamps to really pull them tight. And then the nails uh, lock it in. So that looks pretty good there. I'm using a
Well guys, this is about as far as I got. I was out here for about an hour and a half and I gotta get inside. Uh, my son hasn't been feeling too well lately and I gotta give my wife a hand. But anyhow, uh, I think this is gonna be a two part video because I feel like it's just gonna be too long. Um, I'm also gonna put in the um, description, I'll put a link uh, to this video where I made uh, a hardwood flooring tabletop countertop if you're interested. So I'll put that link there and I just recently did a pallet wood uh, basketball backboard project. So I'll quick show you guys a clip of that and we'll finish up this video. It's looking like snow here, no snow yet. So anyhow, this is my pallet wood backboard. It's a similar project. I will put a link in the description uh, if you're interested in seeing that video so you can check that out. 